location. I did mention in one of my last videos that I was packing to move back to my university halls and here I am. Um, I've been here for two weeks now and I a haven't had a video to film because I haven't been reading and b I don't have a laptop to record on. It is currently the 22nd of September so <laughs> I don't know when this video will be going out we'll have to find out. However, I do want to give you a little bit of an update. This is going to be a bit of a redo vlog. Um, I do start university again tomorrow, which is Monday the 23rd, um, so my reading will deplete again, depending on workload and things like that, within the first couple of weeks. I'm hoping to get my laptop back pretty soon, hopefully. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just want to give you a bit of a reading update. So I finished reading, I finished reading The Last Sword of Victoria Asia. I gave this two stars. I, it's, it was really weird because I'd fallen into a reading slump whilst I was reading this. And didn't enjoy parts of it, but I still enjoyed the overall content of the book where it was going, that kind of thing. And I have said in my review in my journal that I do want to continue reading the series, if not just for the relationship between Mare and Cal, because I do love those two characters. However, I did think that a lot of, there was like really one or two major like fight scenes in this book and that was it. Anything else was just talked through like something would happen and then one of the characters would just say something and then that was it the problem was dealt with and I, I just thought that was really young in the writing I just feel like the fight scenes would have made it better um, there wasn't really much there was like one sad scene in here like the ending wasn't very sad the ending was pretty predictable um, and again, the ending was, I would have expected like a fight scene, the main character to go up with a fight, but no, it was literally just this thing happened, they ended up on the ground, and then all of a sudden she's just talking to Maven, like, nothing's wrong. So, yeah. I did give this two stars, but I do want to continue with the series, see if my liking builds up. I feel like I keep picking to read these books at the wrong time as well because for some reason when I read Red Queen, read Red Queen, I fell into a reading slump and similarly with this. But both times I feel like I'd just read like loads of books the previous month. Like last month I read ten and a half books I think. So and then then picked this up and I just fell into a reading slump and I feel like that might be why I didn't enjoy this as well. I don't know. But it has got a 3.91 uh, rating on Goodreads. So I'm not the only person that gave it a low rating, but yeah. <laughs> However, when I did finish reading this yesterday, I also started reading my ebook for the month, which is The Killing Truth by D.V. Burkham. And I am now 42% of the way through and I'm up to page 63, which is the end of chapter 8. Um, I've discovered this is a novella. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't discover this previously. This is book 0.3 of D.V. Bergman's series following these characters. However, I feel like it's a good way to start. You meet the characters in a really spontaneous way you know that you just plunged into their lives and whatever happens in this is leading to what's going to happen in the rest of the series which I'm here for depending on the price of the series I probably will buy it so yes I am really enjoying this to be fair this has had some a couple twists so far and I'm like not even halfway through yet this has had a couple twists I mean it's only like 150 pages so it's not that long um, 
a lot of action. This does involve um, assassins, not like fantasy assassins, like genuine like people given an assignment to go and kill someone. Those kind of assassins. But yes, this this is a really good book. For those of you who are getting into thrillers, specifically like, um, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say like, I don't really know how to explain it, I just can explain it as a thriller. It's very crime based, but not in the way of what I would normally read as a thriller. It's crime based as in these assassins are given their jobs to put, depending on who the person is that they're giving to kill and it tends to be someone who is like a shit person and shouldn't be allowed to exist on the planet so like um, drug dealers and like well off people that have got there through illegitimate means and that kind of thing so yeah it is pretty good I'm enjoying it to say the least so yeah that is my update I will either update you again today it is like just gone one o'clock like it's just gone five past one in the afternoon so i will either either update in a few hours depending on if i read anything i have become really tired i'm gonna make a cup of tea i think try and boost <laughs> myself i'm really tired but i'm gonna try and stay away from youtube because i have been watching some more youtube recently I just and just trying to, I'm really tired though. I'm really tired. But yes, I will catch you soon. So I think I updated for the vlog on like Sunday. It's now Wednesday. I said I was gonna update you once I'd read a bit more of my book. I did read more. I'm like a hundred and so many pages into it now but I wasn't reading like loads at a time so I didn't see the point in updating something that I hadn't read much of I was like yeah I've read three pages it just didn't make sense to me however I went out today and I bought five books now there's a story to this <laughs> Because I went to two different shops. I went to Waterstones and got two, which are the most expensive ones. And I went to the works and got three. Now, I'll show you the Waterstones ones first because they were the, again, the most expensive. Um, so, as you can see, they have the buy one get one half price stickers on. This one was full price. This one ended up in half price. Just how she scanned them because they were both the same price. It tends to be the cheapest one, but they were both the same price. So I got These Rebel These Rebel Waves by Sarah Ratch. I've been reading her Snow Like Ashes. Snow Like Ashes series and I really am enjoying that. I'm gonna read the second one at some point, but I've enjoyed the first book and I've been waiting for ages for this one to come out in paperback because I don't want the hardback. Just because I don't like hardbacks and to my relief it's a floppy paperback, so that is amazing. From what I can gather, this follows three different people. Uh, I don't know what they're doing, <laughs> but I have a feeling it's going to take place either on the sea or partially on the sea. Um, just from the cover and the title, I could be completely wrong. So that was technically 7 99 but I got £4 off that, which was great. <laughs> I also picked up <clears throat> What She Found in the Woods by Josephine Angelini. Never heard of this before. I've heard of the author, I think, but I'm not 100% sure. This was 7 99 and this is <clears throat> about a girl who is running away from a scandal from her private school in New York and goes off the radar. Um, she becomes over-medicated and overconfident, and she gets scared that she's not going to be able to forget her past. She meets 
a boy by the sounds of it I think it's a boy but I'm not sure um, yes a boy um, but then a mutilated body shows up in the woods and finds out that she can't trust anyone not even herself so this I believe will be like a young adult thriller it was in the young adult, young adult section <clears throat> so I believe it's gonna be a young adult thriller that will be pretty good I think so these were the two books that I got from Waterstones and I am pretty happy <coughs> I'm pretty happy with those purchases I am even happier with the purchases that I got from the works because I'll just show you one of the covers um, this has three for five pound on and I picked three books that I would never normally pick up because they're not something that I would gravitate towards but I'm like you know what I want something different so I looked in the thriller section because I like thrillers and picked up three th three thrillers that I would never gravitate towards naturally <coughs> so I'm like what the heck it's only five pound for the three so I was like I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna pick up the three like three books that I think sound the most interesting out of what I've been given to choose from in the shop take them to the till they scan through at a pound each. So I ended up with these three books for three pound. I don't know how that happened, but it did. <laughs> so the three books that I picked were If They Knew by Joan Sefton. And I have no idea what it's about. Uh, I think this is um, about a woman whose family knows not much about her, even her daughter I don't know much about her past and they've never really asked until her daughter finds a note a sinister note um, in her mother's house and she tries to find out what it's about why she's getting these sinister notes essentially so this I picked up because of the mystery aspect of the thriller that's that's the that's what I like the most. It's pretty short as well. So I reckon if it's pretty gripping, it will it will go pretty quickly. So I picked up that. I also picked up Beautiful Liars by Isabel Ashdown. I think it's Isabel Ashdown, the sticker cup is the name. And this is about... <clears throat> uh, yeah, so this is about some school friends who but this is about a woman who has to say goodbye to her best friend and two decades later the woman is a tv celebrity preparing for a new crime show and her first case is the missing student who she was friends with and she's um, has to start reaching out to her old friends to ask questions, see they, what they know and literally the bottom line says but what happens when your perfect friends turn out to be perfect strangers so clearly they know a lot more than they're letting on and again it's the crime and mystery aspect of the discovering what happened that drew me into this and again it's quite short so I picked that up the final one I picked up is Ask No Questions by Lisa Hartley and this is set in the UK. This is the UK Metropolitan Police which is in London <coughs> and this is after an operation goes badly the undercover special detective leaves her job or at least she thinks she did um, when the criminal, the criminal responsible for her leave for the job gone badly um, is spotted again the detective finds herself in a dangerous investigation and the main lead is found dead and all bets are off so this is like my typical thriller that I would go towards which is a crime crime thriller which I relate mostly to crime dramas so yeah I picked this up so those were the five books that I picked up I also went to TK Maxx and this is pretty geeky of me but it's not at the same time. I picked up 
the tea shop, the uh, English tea shop, um, it's a box of like 96 sachets of tea. There's a few different flavours. This was £5 and I don't understand because there was one like this big that is was literally half the size of this for £6. I don't know why, so I got the big one, obviously. <laughs> and there is... 12 flavours, all with 80 bags each, so take those what you will. Um, this is the luxury travel edition, apparently. This is definitely a luxury. So yeah, I am, um, like there are some in here that I don't have in a different set, so I'm looking forward to that, but there are some that I do have that I know that I will like, so I just figured I'd get it. But yeah, that is everything. Um, I will definitely update my reading. I will be doing some reading today. <clears throat> Not my new ones. I'll be finishing my ebook because I've got like six chapters left to read in it. So that is my plan to try and finish that today or at least definitely finish that today. Um, so yeah, I will update you when that has happened. Hopefully it won't take another week or half a week. So yeah, thanks and I will update soon. We're going to excuse the hair because I've just had a shower and the face because obviously I've just had a shower. The lighting is really messing with my glasses but anyway. Um, so this is a cross between my Wednesday second update and my update for today for my reading. Um, yesterday I managed to finish the Killing Truth. I absolutely love that book. I gave it four stars. It was very action-packed. For a novella it was more than I expected to be honest which is saying something. But yeah I did really enjoy that book so I would recommend it. That obviously will be my wrap-up and I'll talk more about it there. Um, but I did truly enjoy that book and that is saying something. <laughs> uh, I wasn't expecting to like it but anyway. Today, I picked up Five Feet Apart by Rachel Lippincott with Mickey Girati and Tobus Lackinus. Um, I am up to chapter 5, 61 pages into this. I'm really enjoying this. I know that this is going to hurt me a lot <laughs> just because I know A, what this is about. Obviously, it's about cystic fibrosis, if you didn't already know. Um, yeah. This is going to break me. I have a feeling sad things are going to happen in here that I will not be able to get over for a long time. But I'm hoping for that as my last little... This is like the last contemporary I have. I do have Crazy Rich Asians, but that is at home. And I'm obviously in university at the minute. Um, so we don't have any contemporaries at the minute, so that is a problem. But yes, I am enjoying Five Feet Apart at the minute. And that is all I have. I will update probably tomorrow. It is like 8 o'clock on Thursday evening, so I will probably update you tomorrow. I do have to go out early tomorrow. I will be doing my food shop tomorrow. So I'll be in town, so I'll probably stop by TK Maxx again, just to see if there's anything new to pick up. Other than that, I shall see you tomorrow. Uh, also, update, um, I think I mentioned at the beginning of the vlog that I didn't have my laptop because it was in for repair. I have it back. So, <laughs> this video is essentially going to be quickly edited and put up because I haven't had a video on my channel for two weeks and then I will have the standard um, book haul wrap up and TBR videos all going up um, consecutive after, the, after that after I filmed them obviously because I haven't filmed them yet um, but yeah that is my plan I'm hoping to find a better place to film. I may have to like stand up and film a 
here to maybe get better lighting because my lighting is literally just in the middle of the room like a normal light um, but it's currently dark so I have no like I have two windows in my room I have one there and one here and there is currently like it's dark outside because it's eight o'clock at night um, but yeah so maybe when I film I may film during the day and try and use natural lighting but depending on the weather that might not end well either <laughs> so this is my update for Thursday I'll update you again tomorrow I may do two updates tomorrow who knows yeah <laughs> bye we're back again with bad lighting obviously because it's like 10 past 10 at night so the last the, the last clip I filmed was yesterday I believe which was Thursday it's now Friday over 24 hours later however I have finished reading five feet apart and oh my god <laughs> firstly this book although very very short this is under 300 pages you fly through it you literally I don't even know how to explain it. You, I, I literally, I started yesterday, obviously on chapter one, and I read all the way up to page 97 yesterday, so I was like, great, doing good. And then today, I literally read from 91, I read to 97. I literally started at 97, technically 98, but you count from 97 if you're doing my maths, and read straight to the end of the book. And there are, as you can imagine, at least one sad moment in this book, but there are actually three. Be warned if you're going to read this book and you haven't already, there are three, or if you haven't seen the film. I haven't seen the film either, but there are three sad parts in here. and. I've read some of like the reviews that people were giving on Goodreads and someone was someone said like there's been a lot of controversy in the CF community because if you didn't know this book is about cystic fibrosis and I mean I guess I can see why because not every person with cystic fibrosis has the same problems but there is one review that I saw and she said although it doesn't relate to how she has the disease I don't want to call it a disease but it technically is but I don't like calling it a disease uh, she said she would call the characters in this book at end stage of cystic fibrosis which is the kind of point where their lung function is very minimal and they are waiting for transplants which is essentially what this is so yes and i've i agree with that i agree with that a lot but then this other one i saw she said she got like 80 pages in and couldn't stand the characters I think there was another one that said that she didn't like the representation and it's like I'm sorry but yes it's not technically written by anyone with cystic fibrosis but I think it's Claire she had a lot of input in this story I believe she is actually the one who said she wanted to write this I'm not 100% sure but I'm sure I'm sure Uh, I don't know, there doesn't, there's nothing about her in here. Is there dedication to her? No. I don't know, but Claire did have a massive help in the creation of this of the movie which this is actually based on if you didn't know it's actually backwards the movie than this but 
yeah I just want to say from what I know about cystic fibrosis from watching people I don't know if you can hear the music one second I don't know if you can hear the music we're just gonna talk over it um, from what I know about cystic fibrosis and the disease I like I prefer to call it an illness I don't like to call it a disease um, from YouTube channels that I've watched and things like that I know at least one of the YouTube channels I watched he loved the representation that's in this because there's certain things that he's like oh I was looking for this and I was looking for this and he found it and I'm going off what I know about cystic fibrosis I don't have the illness or anything like that but I just I, personally I think the representation in here is pretty good but that is just me talking from little bits of information that I know about the illness anyway I gave this five out of five stars I really really enjoyed it and I would recommend this to anyone I am NOT a contemporary reader this is like the third proper contemporary book that I've read this year and I wouldn't say I'm converted to contemporary, but I will say I will pick up more contemporary on stuff like this, maybe like chronic illnesses or things like that, because I found out that maybe that is something that I like. But I'm not a contemporary reader, and if you're not too, pick up this book because I guarantee you, you will love it. I'm putting my hands up saying I don't like contemporary, never have. This is the third one I've read and I've rated highly. I think all three that I've read this year I've rated five stars, so I'm picking correctly. <laughs> I'm now just going to talk a little bit about the next book that I'm going to jump into. I'm not going to jump into this tonight because it's ten past ten. It's now quarter past ten. Um, I'm not going to jump into this tonight, but I will be picking it up like first thing in the morning. possibly not first thing in the morning, I might be until library first, but yes, um, I think this was on my TBR for this month, there is definitely one book that I won't be picking up this month because it's three days left of the month and that is not happening, but this is, I believe, one of the books that was on my TBR and it's Never Never by James Patterson and Candy Fox, uh, this is about Detective Harriet Blue and she needs to get out of town fast, the brother's arrested and things like that. So I assume a lot of stuff goes down. I don't know if this is going to be about um, the detective. Well, obviously it's going to be about the detective, but I don't know if it's going to be her solving crimes. I don't know. I, I assume a crime happens, but I don't know if it's going to be like the typical like detective line of a story or what, because I've not read any of this. But I... I have, I have this and I believe I have like two other books from this this series so if I like this one which I probably will because it's James Patterson <laughs> um, I will most definitely be picking up the one in between this and I think I have the third one but yes I am actually really looking forward to this I was going to pick up the fantasy that I have on my TBR we're also ignoring the small horns I was going to pick up the fantasy that I have on my TBR, but I decided that the change between contemporary to, fa to fantasy might be a bit too quick. So I'm going to go from temporary contemporary to thriller to fantasy, I think. <laughs> this will be my second thriller of the month though. So, and I have read two fantasy books this month, so I'll, it'll be um, at least two fantasy, a contemporary, and at least half of a thriller, I hope to get to half of this. This is quite long. Boop, 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 boop. 338 pages. So I reckon I can do this in three days. I, but if not, I hope to get to at least halfway through this before the end of the month, before I have to film my wrap up and this carries over to the next month. But yes bit better lighting. Uh, so it is Saturday and uh, I've had a shower so my hair is 
not as damp as I thought it would be, but it's a mess. So we're going to stay at this angle. Um, but I thought I would just wrap the vlog up. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please like it. Please leave me comments on how to make my videos better. And I know I need to update more, but I just simply forget. So yeah, uh, I will probably start my next vlog on Monday just to make it even out better. Or I will start Sunday night, intro the vlog, and then it will start Monday, probably. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, uh, I just wanted to make a quick outro to this. So yes, thank you for watching, like if you liked it, and 